a gas spider. That's all we're going to say. That's, I mean, we're going to say more, but that's all. That's the best way to describe it. The gas. Mess. Pile of spider. This, just, excuse me. I, I, yeah, go ahead. This, this review about this movie is so bad I have to eat while I'm doing it. <laughs> Because so. I need something on my stomach to settle it down. So forgive me while I chew while we're doing this, but I need some sustenance to get through this. Go ahead. Well, the story is an exterminator joins forces with the military to squash a giant spider that's terrorizing L.A. Instead of me going into this big detailed synopsis that I always go through, I'm just going to basically give you what they wrote underneath the title of the movie, and we'll take it from there. Hit it, Dad. Big ass spider. What more can we say? Really? Seriously? They tried to be funny and make it more of a comical movie as opposed to a horror story. Well, they put horror in between. Time to eat. I need some sustenance while we're going. Yeah, you're, it's, you're it's starting, it's you're starting you're already. <laughs> <laughs> they needed to have some comedy in between all the crappy death scene. Mayhem. Yeah. So. And you get the usual uh, current sci-fi fair of military cover-up, trying to get into a place to cover up their mistakes, belittling the locals who have experienced this malevolent creature, whatever it is, trying to write it off as something that they either didn't see or We'll take care of it. We don't need your help. <clears throat> and then it spirals out of control and we wind up needing the help of the locals. And the thing is, spiders, they can kind of be killed with a gun in real life, but this one just really couldn't be shot and killed. Yeah, and the reason for that is because apparently uh, there is some mixture of DNA with uh, some alien DNA they found, some Mars rocks and DNA with animals here, and one of the test animals uh, was this, uh, I guess accidentally, according to them, was a spider, which oh, grew right. to humongous that. size. It was the size of like four or five buses. No, it was, wasn't it a plant, and there was a spider nest in within it, and it got... It doesn't matter, the movie sucked. Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. Well, it, it, how the spider got to L.A. was, uh, according to them, one of the animals uh, got out of its, you know, captivity and bit a scientist who died and uh, it went into his body and they were shipping the body someplace and the body got lost. And accidentally and, shipped to this and morgue. wound up in a nearby. morgue in, in, in L.A. and the spider consumed most of the innards of the person and, of course, what did it for me early in the scene was... <laughs> They took the more the body into the morgue in the body bag, right? So the morgue attendant's, of course, not paying attention is doing something. And the spider unzips the body bag. Mm -hmm. At that point, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <clears throat> couldn't cut out of it, couldn't rip it apart. No, he unzips the bag from the inside. He's a very smart spider. I'm through. <laughs> I, I hate poor writing. He's a very smart and spider. from that point on, it, it didn't go downhill. It cascaded downhill for me. So, continue to order while I fill my stomach with sustenance. Before we go on, the one thing you should know, next week, tell him, Dad, before you eat. Tell him one last thing. Uh, Vikingdom. 9 p.m. Sci-Fi next Saturday. It's a whole Vikings. Sci-Fi Vikings. Why not? We've got flying sharks in the tornado. Yeah, Sharknado in July. He's, you know, so the, it just, it was stupid. They really, really tried and really, really failed. Yeah. I mean, I can give you the whole synopsis. It was just like, the reason they brought in this exterminator was because he had gotten bitten by a spider where he was working on a neighbor's house for free and he got bitten by a spider and he was brought into the hospital the same day this stuff happened and he said, hey, I know spiders. I can help you with this. 
and then he went down and he didn't realize the spider grew to this ridiculous size and based on what i remember from science if a if a spider grows to as big as this one did it wouldn't be able to walk because its body mass alone would make its legs totally useless useless i remember this this spider somehow managed to survive all those issues of physics and, and mechanics and she laid eggs elsewhere who knows it's of course it's a she it has to be a she of course you know because we like to start trouble and you need the eggs so the eggs add to the melodrama greg grunberg played the exterminator he is the cop from heroes if you guys watch heroes he was the guy that used to mind read he was the cop you know that used to do this all the time and he was just I'm sure he's doing that to the movie, too. That's how bad it was <laughs> until his checks cleared. Yeah, but what are you going to do? It was special. So, there's nothing. I mean, usually I'm writing a few pages of notes. I have a page and a half. Well, let's just put it this way. They shot the spider with small arms. They shot it with larger arms. They shot it with bazookas. They had jets shooting rockets at it. Didn't hurt it at all. And because this guy, Greg Grunberg, Grunberg knew his spider anatomy, he knew that the one... Matt Mattis. Alex Mattis. That was his name. Alex Mattis. He knew the one weak area in the spider was where uh, it laid, uh, where it spun its way as a spinneret. In essence, it's butt. So what did he do? Shot the spider in the butt. In the big butt of the big butt spider. Oh, big, big ass butt. But he shot and, him in the ass. And yet we got shot too, because we had to sit there and watch it. And that killed us. Yeah, man, you know. <sighs> the one thing we did notice, to add to the suckiness of this movie, they've had commercial breaks, and the commercial breaks were very long. The commercial breaks were longer than the movie segments. So, so that I'm, gives you an idea of how torturous it was. So this movie probably was 90 minutes. When you like the minutes. commercials more than you like the movie. Yeah, the movie was probably like 90 minutes, and you're talking like 15 minutes of commercial. No, 90 minutes, 30 minutes of commercial throughout. And maybe it was the other way around. Nine minutes of movie and <laughs> 59 minutes of commercials. Yeah, it was just like there was another guy, Jose, who was the security guard of the hospital. He and... Comic relief. He and um, Alex, Alex Grunberg. You know, Alex... The Groomberg character, Groomberg, who played his character, became like best friends and experts at this exterminating thing. I will be your friend, and it was, it was stupid, really stupid. They were trying to milk off the Sharknado success by adding comedy. There are segments of this movie, like other recent sci-fi claptrap, that remind you of other movies you've seen. They like they steal scenes. You know, or similar scenes from other movies to give you the, the, the kind of familiarity with the current sci-fi melodrama that's on you know, commercial or, or cable TV. And quickly written, poorly written, just to get a few bucks, just to keep you watching the sci-fi channel. I love the sci-fi channel, but, you know, come on, guys. Spend a little more time and money. Make a better product. Otherwise... You're going to be marginalized, and you'll be marginalized by Barney and other stuff like that. But we'll still watch, because we have to tell you. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a thrill. Really but big, why punish us? We're here for you. Big-ass spider, big-ass mistake. <laughs> it sucked. By the way, again, Viking Dumb next week. It's all, like, the Viking saga, and... For you guys, we will be there as always because we have to. And um, what we do? Yes, yeah, what we do. How we how we roll. By the way, what we saw, what I saw yesterday, but Dad saw a couple of days before. Thor, best movie I have seen this year. Sequel to Thor. It's very good. It's very good, and it's like beautiful in the sense that lots of plot twists and it's action. It looks beautiful, like they they designed it very well. So if you get a chance, go ahead and watch it. It's good entertainment. Later on, I'm going to be watching um, Star Trek. Oh, the Star Trek sequel, yes. So 
to into, into the Darkness. I believe his name was. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, we will see you, and we're sorry if you guys had to watch it. And uh, I'm going to go get a bazooka in case there's some big-ass spiders around. <laughs> see you later. Later. Bye.